stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. It is changed again as it will many more times because I even wanted to wait to do this video because I still have a couple more things I want to do to my stamp pad. Um, but I know that it's ever changing and so I wanted to capture this at this moment uh, as well as sharing with you because I know that you guys are probably dying to see what my new space looks like because we just moved at the beginning of October and now I will say my space is like 90% done. It's all the little stuff that's going to take a while to kind of get um, officially complete. But I wanted to share with you what it looks like because I didn't want you to wait any longer and because because this is just how it's going to be um, with it ever changing. So I'm going to show you every little bit of my stamp pad. So let's get started. So as you can see, this is the focal point of my entire stamp pad. Uh, this is my workspace. And while it looks absolutely huge, it's absolutely amazing and I am loving it. So this is the far end of the room. You can see that I have the same table that I had at, um, at the old place as well as the same chair. And I just have the new Ikea uh, Collax system for the back. And then everything is uh, within reach. So I can just swivel my chair around, which that's one of the things that I wanna get is a chair that um, is on wheels because I tend to lean back in the current chair. Um, but this is where everything is. So um, off to what would be my, uh, my left in this video. I have a little sink, which is awesome to be able to rinse out my Stampin' um, chamois and other things. I also have a little TV there so I can stream uh, videos on there and, um, and everything. And then as you'll go along here, you'll see like all of the Collax system, which I will then get up close and personal so you can really see what that looks like. So now starting on the left hand side, I have all of my 12 by 12 cases, which are right here. And those hold all of my projects and all of my upcoming class um, supplies and things like that as I'm preparing for those. On the right hand side, I have all of my designer series paper. So you can see I have scraps of designer series paper. I have six by six. I have seasonal, which is usually the mini catalogs, designer series paper, glimmer paper, and foil paper. Um, so all of those are in 12 by 12 drawers. Then down here, this one is the one that I have the least um, together. So you'll see that I have one empty slot. I have one that says scraps and then one that has some of my business supplies in it. And then the one on the bottom is like miscellaneous things. So the one with the scraps in it is just all of my designer series paper scraps, or ribbon scraps or different things like that um, that I'm probably not gonna use on a project. So then I just make little scrap bags to give away um, for various events and things like that. So now moving over, we have the giant collax here. So we'll go ahead and we'll start from the top and work our way down. Um, I have some fabulous pictures up top that some of them kind of need to be replaced, um, but they are some of my favorite pictures. You guys all know how much I, um, I love family and I have a big family, so uh, I like to take pictures too. And so it just kind of brings uh, my workspace a little bit more um, together and like loving and things like that. And then I got those fabulous words, create, and then I have Stampin' Up's 30th anniversary box over there. So now on the top here, that last little um, teal tote actually has nothing in it, uh, but it just matches, so that's why it's there. And then I have some random embellishments. Uh, that is uh, one of the card kits, and then those are some of the new uh, tins. Then I have my embellishments in uh, those drawers there, as well as ribbons. Uh, and then this one here on the end also has nothing in it. Um, then we come down and I have all of my stamp sets. So these are actually alphabetized, which is kind of a love-hate relationship because 
having them alphabetized, I can find the stamp easy, but putting them back alphabetized kind of, you know, gets annoying sometimes. I want to just put it back in an open spot. Uh, and then all of those that are up and down on the end are actually for the new uh, 2020 mini catalog. And I kind of haven't interspersed them because I want to make sure that I play with them and, um, and know which ones are there so that I am using them uh, while they're still hot, hot, hot. So, um, so that's why those haven't been interspersed just yet. And then there on the end, I actually have some... Um, little stampin' spots that come out of paper pumpkin as well as some little decoration pieces too. Moving down to the next level, I have my Stampin' Blends, which are not color coordinated because I ran out of space and then I just kind of have them all over and I keep adding more and so it just, it is what it is, but I do love the beautiful colors and everything. And then I have all of my ink pads and re-inkers and then my in colors in the middle, as well as I have the re-inkers in that little green striped tin for all the in colors, and then I have my um, fine tip glue pen. I'm not so sure that that quite goes there, uh, but that's where I have it right now. Then on this end, I have more of my ink pads and re-inkers, and then on the end, I actually have my markers and colored pencils. Going down to the next level, I have all the coordinating cardstock. So you'll notice that the cardstock is actually on the same side as the ink pad. So you'll see that like the um, the neutrals are right here, and then the neutrals are over there, and then these are um, the brights, and then the brights cardstock is down there. And then I have the in colors in the middle. Subtles and the Regals, and all of my extra um, cardstock that doesn't actually fit is in those packets on the side. Then on the bottom here, I have all of my black, my black little containers. So this one is cards and stamps, which is kind of misleading because of what I do, um, but it is actually cards that are ready uh, to go out and um, actual postage stamps. So you can see it's kind of full with different boxes of cards in there and things like that. My return address um, is also in there. This one is all envelopes. So I have my vanilla and my white, which I need a lot more white and um, note cards and envelopes and things like that. This next one here is my camera gear. So this one is actually more like my tripods and um, lighting and different things like that. And then the next one is actual camera, cameras, camera gear. I don't know, it has um, my camera bag, and then of course it has all of my uh, batteries and, um, and different things like that. So it's also kind of camera gear, but I listed it as cameras. Then this one here says extra supplies, uh, and this is just miscellaneous stuff. Uh, there's some extra blades in there, there's some cardboard that comes out of designer series paper um, that I sometimes use for various things for packaging up and stuff like that. And then there's also little wooden blocks that go with my um, punches organization. So now we're gonna move over to the uh, right hand side. So this side is a little bit more decorative. It's got all my punches and then these tins. And I'll be honest, the tins are all empty. But I'm like a collector of them and they're so cute and I absolutely love them. So I have all my punches here which I've already outgrown the space, um, which I was not expecting to happen so fast until the latest mini catalog came out. Um, in, in this little thing, I just have um, little labels that go uh, on those 12 by 12 totes. I also sometimes put um, adhesives in there or things uh, like the little uh, covers to my scissors go in there as well. So this says class supplies and I just have um, the plastic sleeves that I put all my card projects in. And then this one also says class supplies, but this one is actually all my adhesives, scissors, and bone folders uh, that I bring out for classes. 
and then moving down this one also says class supplies and this one is my um, grid papers uh, trash cans my apron uh, and also black tablecloth is underneath there and then this one is card packets so this one is uh, leftover card packets from a class that um, I can either use for another class or I can um, eventually like at the end of the season which all of those need to be done um, they can be redone and made as actual cards to go in my stash so now we're going to turn around and we're going to look like at my desk. So I did get this fabulous little wheelie cart. Um, on the top here I have my white and my vanilla scraps as well as all of my uh, chamois. Then I have all my clear blocks and a package of wipes on the next level. And then on the bottom I have some grid paper and all of my paper cutters. But I'll be honest, my paper cutters are normally leaned up against that or leaned up against my trash can. So it normally isn't all nice and neat and tidy like that. So now here is my desk and we're going to move over to this little spot here. So you can see I have the new little paper trimmer coming out uh, for the recruiting promotion. So uh, you can sign up during January, February, or March of 2020 and, um, and get this little guy for free. So how fun is that? And then these little totes, this has an adhesive and um, my name stamp that goes on the back of my stamps or on the back of my cards. Uh, this one has dimensionals in it. And then this is the same box that I had at the old place. So in this box, I just have all of my easy to grab tools. So I have my adhesives, my markers, some pens, Oh, by markers, I, I just mean like Sharpie markers, because I do have Sharpies in there that I use a lot. Um, but pens, adhesives, um, take your pick tools, scissors, cleaning, uh, stamp cleaning, a ruler, you know, just various things, some scrap paper to take notes on, and different things uh, like that. So that is on the right side of my desk. Okay, so over here, this is my little tool station. So this is where I have my die cutting, embossing, and then I have a lot of other tools uh, down in the cabinet that I will go through individually. So here on the top, I have all of my embossing folders are in that box, um, as well as everything that I need for uh, doing anything with die cutting. All my dies are there, little thing to hold um, some of my paper scraps so I don't have to worry about taking them over to the trash can or leaving a mess over here. I have uh, my two big shots. I also have the big shot die brush and um, some of the um, post-it note tape so that it can hold my dies in place. So then moving down here, I have uh, all of my plates for my die cutting. And then I actually have this little uh, magnet frame so that whenever I'm having an event, I can set all the current magnets that I'm using or all the dies that I'm currently using on that little magnet frame. I might eventually hang that, but I'm not sure exactly how useful it will be. And then I have my Stamparatus. So then in the cabinet here, very similar to uh, what I had at the old place, I have cellophane bags, heat embossing tools, and miscellaneous tools in that bottom purple one, as well as my scoring board. Uh, moving over to these fabulous shoe boxes that you've seen everywhere because I absolutely love those. I have my paper pumpkin stamps. I have uh, this one here is actually like my sponges, sponge daubers, and all my like watercoloring sort of things. And then I just have business cards and miscellaneous stuff. The box there on the end is actually the box that I use for spritzing to try to keep it under control. And then down here on the bottom, I just have the um, two little things on the end that actually have miscellaneous uh, retired stamps that I like and some fabric. Uh, that I use for backgrounds and things and then of course there's the clear block case and I have my silhouette down there as well as a container of glitter so that is all there of course I did put a um, 
a power strip underneath and made sure to bring power out from underneath this uh, piece of furniture so that I can do heat embossing over here and everything else uh, and I still have power. I'm also thinking about putting a light in this corner because when you stand in the corner you're kind of having your back to the light and so it can get a little bit dark um, and I just want to make sure that it's nice and light uh, for all of my projects that are going on over here. So that is uh, my Inspire corner. Okay, so as soon as you come down the stairs uh, into the basement and the stamp room, then right around the corner I have this um, little shelf, and then I'm going to have my calendar of events and everything on that board, but I'm going to paint it, I think, with a little bit of blue first. And then here I have um, all my catalogs, my samples, um, outgoing orders, cash and carry adhesive, um, orders that need to be delivered go down in those uh, white totes, and then I have like order packaging stuff, like shipping stuff, as well as um, bags to put orders in in the purple totes. So that's everything with the catalogs and all of that, and then little Leonardo is still uh, in my stamp room. Uh, so he gets to hang out up there now. And then coming around here, this corner is kind of a hot mess of all of my scrapbooks. Um, they are so incredibly heavy, so uh, they have to go in in certain areas because they like the weight just doesn't hold. Uh, and I do want them up off the ground just in case uh, for some reason we would ever get water in our basement or anything like that. Um, I also wouldn't even mind them being even more up off the ground, but um, I'm not so sure that those are going to stay there. I might uh, move that shelf, uh, but we shall see. Um, lots of memories there with all of my albums. And then here I have another uh, table for stampers, and then that little gather is going to be hung. I just haven't quite figured out exactly where. And then, of course, there's my inspiration tool. Um, cabinet over there, the table for stamping, my table in the back there, and uh, behind those doors there is my husband's uh, man cave, if you will. Uh, he's got a huge computer set up and everything. And then this right here, these are our filing cabinets, as you can tell. And I just put some stickers on there, and then there's some magnets, which my daughter got more magnets uh, for Christmas so she can play with those down here and hopefully that'll keep her uh, entertained. We shall see. And then you can see I have paper pumpkin flyers, a little uh, welcome uh, photo frame there and we can pull out each of the, the different things. Right now I have it as the chocolate cupcake because my husband likes chocolate and his birthday is in December. And then up top here I have a shelf with um, my lays uh, that I used for the announcement of earning the um, the trip to Hawaii. And then uh, these are all different um, badges from events that I have attended. As I have a whole bunch there. My husband said, you know, you don't really need to hang all of them, but I felt like I did. And then up top there, I just have some of the things uh, from the tchotchkes that I got from different events uh, whenever we went to Florida and um, and we went to Epcot and everything so I have the ears and the sunglasses uh, and there's stuff from the Greek Isles as well as Alaska and then my um, current level of Silver Elite is up there as well so that is the other end of my um, my stamp room is all of this down here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour and that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tour of my stamp pad and maybe got some inspiration for your own craft room or um, you have some ways that you think I should change mine because I would love to hear your ideas on some spots that I still have 
um, open and I'm not sure what to put um, and things like that. But it's ever changing as always. Um, and I apologize if it was a little too bumpy for you or anything like that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new. And like I said, don't forget to let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions on anything or if you have any questions on anything. I'd love to answer those for you. Have a great day, everyone. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.